there are many mysteries either yet to be discovered or have and are now shrouded in conspiracy all over the Egyptian plateau. Stories of unexplainable finds, many of which have simply vanished, all have continued to be ignored throughout the years. The several centimeters of ancient sea salt, sediment quietly removed from the lower chambers of Cheops, chambers eventually dug out of the sands of Giza in the early 1900s. There are literally endless theories and rumors which surround this tiny concentrated area of the Egyptians' ancient wonders. There lay countless awe-inspiring sights to be seen, all equally unexplainable over the Egyptian plateau. And the discoveries of ancient tombs is not an uncommon occurrence. And although our next area of interest may be of no exception, it is in its characteristics. The outer layers of this tomb was made up of megalithic blocks of gigantic proportions, far greater than anyone can yet explain how these stones were moved, carved, and perfectly placed atop one another all over antiquity. Yet what these stones indicate is one of two things. Either the occupant of the tomb that has now been conveniently easily identified and named as that of Queen Kentakuis III's was indeed an Egyptian queen. BBC News states, quote, The tomb was found in Abu Sir, southwest of Cairo, and is thought to belong to the wife or mother of Pharaoh Neferefri, who ruled 4,500 years ago. Egyptian antiquities minister Mamdo el Damidi said that her name, Kentakuis, had been found inscribed on a wall in the necropolis. Mr. Damidi added that this would make her Kentakuis III. The tomb was discovered in Pharaoh Neferefri's funeral complex. Yet, as mentioned, this tomb in particular pricked our interest due to its megalithic nature. This so-called identified queen was again either a legitimately aged 4,000-year-old mummy who used a structure already in existence, or what might make her discovery incredibly special is that she could, in fact, be a true descendant of a now lost civilization who were indeed capable of these incredible and as yet unexplainable feats found all over ancient Egypt. Regardless of opinions, we find the facts surrounding her tomb, and indeed her possible true origins, highly compelling.